what's good youtube creator house here back with another video currently here to give you the ins and out of all program not all of them just some programs okay anyway i just want to show you guys something that i recently found out about or like discovered is that you can actually export your files from dimensions to adobe let me demonstrate so i'm gonna create a new one i'm gonna add a can boom now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this pull no not pull the uh, can go over can material uh what was it oh this one i'm gonna grab my there you go my my picture and i want to make sure this says fill in that decal for some reason the decal is not going to add right so it's not going to be perfect i don't know the exact dimensions for this but we're just gonna stick with that that actually came out good that's crazy all righty that's looking mighty sexy and then once you have your like your can you can rename it or whatever it doesn't even matter uh you hit file you make sure it's selected so you select it file export selected models you want to make sure it says obj file and then i'ma just put it in a certain file rename it and save it export boom I just exited. All right, now that I have my soda can file, I'ma just make a new one. Get rid of this can. Now I'ma just file import my OBJ file that we created. And luckily, we don't have to do the materials because the materials are already here. Now, one thing to note: what I found out about. I don't know why this is doing that, but okay. Uh probably because it was still loading when you load this in here for some reason it does that that's some weird monkery going on so all i do is i just go into the settings and i turn this to opaque and then go up to the other ring and turn that on to opaque as well and boom beautiful sexiness love it all right Let's see now that we have everything oh first a couple things i want to do let's fix this plane and then i just bring up these sides boom we got our backdrop and then uh what i want to do with this and then three point lighting setup let's go oh i messed it up all right now let's see and our shader we are in blender eve and boom oh my goodness let's rotate it boom now we have our our model that we exported from dimensions tell me that is not the coolest thing ever now i'm gonna just go over to my shading and start fixing a couple of these settings so a couple things let's change this background it is so not the color that i want it to be i want it to be like a dark let's add in a sun listen i still i'm still new i had started this in june here it is july so don't judge me i know i i know uh i'm struggling a little bit but so it's all good okay light light how do i want to do this maybe i want to turn the brightness up so like i would say that eve is more for like more cartoon looks and uh cycles is for more realistic so i'm gonna just do everything in eve so it can load and then I'm gonna go over to cycles and for the finished product. So let me 
reduce this roughness though because that is it's ridiculous and a couple things I like to do ooh that looks good that looks good for a nice little animated movie alright so a couple things I want to do is add a Voronoi oh. Voronoi texture then I'm going to add a noise texture a mix bring it over and a color ramp boom shakalaka color color roughness I like that that came out decent and then for like you see how this came out so sometimes you can change the scale of this indentation in, or change the factor to make it look more like a soda can anything really but then when you let me let me position my camera before I do anything else camera view. see I hate that I must my thing must be too big usually I just go into camera where are you bring that clip up. okay Camera view. Kumo. Okay. Why I named it Kumo? I have no idea. I couldn't think of anything else to be honest. I'm gonna save it. Save Blender file. And I'm gonna go into my my settings and let's see what it looks like in Eve. nice I can deal with that bring the glossiness up a little bit and then you have your soda can you could you can change this one I think that's a little not right let me change it like real quick actually yeah kind of right Right though. Then go back in here. I'm gonna just render a image. Uh, render image. This cycle, so it might take a little while. You can put on de-doising. I would, but this is just like a thing, so I can show y'all that you can do this. It's amazing. So like for people for, who do computer or product stuff, like people who design products for different companies or, or design stuff and all that kind of good stuff for whoever, they can just go in here, animate the little soda can, move it around. There's, there's other uh, models and dimensions too, so it's not just one thing. I feel like it's a really powerful program. The fact that we're able to do this, it's unreal and I love it. I love I love it. And it's amazing to see my product like this, even though I'll probably never see it in real life. <laughs> I would love to see a soda can look like this. I would drink it just because it has that label. <laughs> Maybe it's because I like it because I made it. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'm glad I was able to show you guys this. This is something I discovered. Maybe you could do something better with it. I don't know. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the link. Visit my website. And visit my other channel. And all kinds of stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.